Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith, and we are playing King's Quest IV. I want to try a couple of things, and we're going to take a look around at stuff as we will. I'm also thinking about checking out the ocean a bit. Put on crown. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're a little froggy. Take off crown. I don't like the clammy feeling of being a frog. You look around, decide there's no reason to be one right now. And remove the little crown. <laughs> That's what I thought. All right, I'm going to head over to the waterfall. And I want to see if we can go into the water as a frog. Hey, I came across this pool again. And look at this. There's a cupid flying into the pool. Look at cupid. Cupid appears to be getting ready to go swimming. Let's go swim with him. Oh, I've startled the cupid. No, oh, come back. He left his bow. <laughs> well, let's go take his bow. I think I got an idea what we can do with this. We can get ourselves an arrow and like a saddle or something to control this unicorn. We might be able to take it. Take a uh, bow. There we go, not arrow, but bow. Look at bow. I'm going to continue, though, on to the, um, on to the, the, the waterfall. We're here at the waterfall. I'm going to see if I can use the crown. Oops, swimming. Let's see if I can use the crown here and go in. Not while I'm in the water, okay? There we go. Right into the water. I knew it. That would be something along those lines. <clears throat> sure feels good to be yourself again. Look. What's this? Why, it's a cave behind the waterfall. You see an old board lying by the cave entrance. Pick up board. Okay, I'm going to save this for safety. <laughs> After we're done checking this place out, I think I'm going to go try checking out the ocean. I do recall when we were playing Leisure Suit Larry, there was a point in the story where we found uh, Roberta Williams working, directing this game and directing Rosella through a whale that's in the ocean. Ooh, it's dark. The cave is very dark. Try as you might, you cannot peer through the darkness. Look at skeleton. Look at bone. Pile of bones by the cave entrance. Pick up bone. I don't think I need to be here yet. Because I don't have a, a way to light my torch. I have a lantern, but I can't light it. So we'll go ahead and head back out and see if I can. Oop, bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, shoo, thought I drowned. And I'm going to head back to the ocean and see if we can swim around a bit and maybe find this whale and or something of worth if there's an ocean to be checked out. We were at the fisherman's house. I figured the best way we're going to be able to go swim out into the ocean here is to go out to the end of the pier and take a swim and see what we can find. Just in case. I don't know if there's dangers out there. I know there's got to be a whale because there's a whale scene at Beach Suit Larry. Two or three, I think it was. So. Just to be safe, let's save it here, and let's go explore into the ocean. Oh, here we go. That was easier than I expected. Made it safely. Look at that. Look at Peacock. Majestic Peacock with a beautiful tail struts about. Or struts by, should I say. Let's follow it. Take feather. <laughs> Find one lying around somewhere. Okay. Let's take a look around this little island. Oh, there's peacocks everywhere. Cute. Neat. Probably gotta wait till it opens. There it goes. Look at that. Oh, look at you. Pretty. 
to drop one. Take feather. Hmm. Let's see what happens. I'm trying to get it to open up. There we go. Take feather. Oh. Ooh, look at this. Nice castle on this island. You're standing in a lovely garden of the enchanted island. Beside you rises a grand ivory palace. Within this garden, a bridge emblazoned with the figures of swans arches over a little pond. A beautiful white swans float serenely upon it. Look at Swan. A white swan, swan floats gracefully, gracefully upon the little pond. Upon the little pond. <laughs> Say that weird. I like it's got a reflection. It's nice little effects that they put together on this. Janessa's tiny fairies guard the palace. Oh. Okay. So this is Janessa's tower. This must be my end result location. I won't mess with her then. I am going to continue to keep trying to get a peacock feather. Eventually one of these guys is going to drop me a feather. When it does, I'll be back with you. Finally, I found one. I was about to type finally. <laughs> Take feather. Holy crap. I'm not close enough. I get any closer than this. There we go. But um, Sweet. I've searched this whole island too, and there doesn't seem to be anything of value out of it, so... I guess we'll swim back, but at least we know where Janessa's place is. There's got to be other places out here, like random locations or islands or something like that for us, but we'll see. After a death of uh, drowning in that whale, I haven't come across it again. I had to go back quite far because I was at a point where the uh, whale uh, had a timer on it, so i got to be quick when I get in there. No time to think. Got to get out quick. Let's get out there. I'm going to find this whale again. I think he's got he's got to be key to it. He'll take us to Neverland. Oh, there he is. Perfect fucking timing. All right. I'm going to save this now on an alternate. And hopefully we won't have any issues. I got sucked in immediately. Now, we checked the, th the thing before, and apparently... I had to look into it. I'm like, do I need that bottle? Oh, that bottle is apparently just there as a um, uh, distraction. So I got to try to get up the tongue as best I can without dying. So I don't know where I'm going to go up at. Let's try here. Can I go up here? Oh, this is going to be tough. I think I found the start spot. It's got to be right here. There we go. Okay, now I'm walking. Let's save this. That took a minute because there's probably still a chance to fall off. Uh, cancel. Uh, auto save. You save just in case. Well. Okay, can't do that. All right, I'm going to use this feather. Use feather, feather on uvula, which is what that's called, uvula. I don't want to do that with the Tickle uvula with feather. I do want to do that. Not here. Okay. How about now? Aha, I'm free, bitchness. <laughs> you fanatic frantically tickle the throat of the whale with the big peacock feather, and you begin to feel a quiver under your feet, which quickly turns into a mighty tremble. Suddenly, you hear a thunderous true, and you are swept out of the whale's mouth in a tremendous wave of ocean water. Hey, look at that. And you find yourself swimming in the ocean. I'm going to save... Another alternate file. <laughs> Cause there's probably still sharks out here. So swim up to this island and see what's there. Check this place out. Check it out. Oh, look at this place. Little shipwreck island. Look. You found yourself stranded upon a desert island. Also, it seems 
also, it seems, have others before you. Now, what are you going to do, Rosella? Um, look. Look at sand. In this case, the beach and the island are one of the same. Look at Pelican. Pelican visits you on this desert island. Look at ground. Pick up sand. <laughs> hey, Pelican. Let's see if there's anything useful in here. Look. Look at ground. <laughs> Look at ground. My typing, I swear. Look at that. Look at the ground inside the wrecked boat. What is this? Why, it's a golden bridle. You pick it up and carry it with you. That's what I need to ride the horse. Ooh, the unicorn's almost within my grasps. Hey, pelican. You want to eat a fishy? Got a fishy. Throw fish to pelican. There you go. Look at him. Ow. Did he just take a shit? <laughs> You throw the stinky dead fish to the pelican. Greedily he catches it in his large bill. As he does so, you notice something shiny fall from his bill onto the ground. Okay, I thought that was his butt. Look at a shiny thing. <laughs> Look at ground. See a shiny whistle lying on the ground. Oh, get whistled. Whistle. Let's blow it. See what happens. Blow whistle. Shoot. Put the shiny silver whistle to your lips and forcefully blow into it, proceeding, producing a loud tweet. To your astonishment, a friendly dolphin appears just offshore and jabbers excitedly at you. Hey, dolphin. Can I ride you? Ride the dolphin. Oh, excuse me. I guess that is a thing, though. Let's try that again. Yay! There we go. Safe from all sharks. That's how you do it. <laughs> is it really only a couple screens? Because if it was, I'll be like, what? Do some flips and shit. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's a couple screens. Not too far off. What is this? I don't recognize this space along the coastline. Huh. Well, thank you, Dolphin. By the way, I'll have to check and see what this is up here. I think I am further south than I normally am. That's probably what it is. By the way, I'm going to end this one here. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. We're going to catch ourselves a unicorn. Have a great day. Hey, fellow Asians. Don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left. And you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video. And have a good day.